Coach, if you would, just talk about the emotion today. I know the game didn't end the way you want, but just talk about your thoughts on being in the national championship game and, and going through what y'all went through today. Well, and the first thing i got to say is, number one, Amherst is really good. They're a deserving national champion. They're good. They're, they are the national champions. They beat us soundly, and I think they are very good, and uh, I certainly have respect for them. The second thing I've got to say is, uh, I think our fans were national champions. There ain't any question. Uh, uh, Crew Nation, uh, Crusader Nation, whatever it is, was terrific. Uh, just unbelievable. And uh, the crowd for this game was fantastic. And I, but our, our support was incredible. And our guys, uh, I think that had a, little, had a little bit to do with our guys being a little bit tight because they wanted so bad to do well for the fans. Uh, with that being said, we played well defensively. You know, Amherst is one of the better shooting teams in the country. Give them below 40% in the first half, give them 42% for the game. That puts us in a position to win, but we uncharacteristically uh, could not score. Uh, we had no individual at any point that gave us the opportunity to score four possessions in a row. It's what we needed. We slowed it down a little bit in the second half, uh, made it more of a half-court game, thinking if we could score four possessions, three or four possessions in a row, We'd be all right, and we'd be able to open it up and start going back and forth again. We never did that. Not one time did we score on four possessions, and I don't understand it. We did a great job defensively. We did a great job rebounding defensively. Ended up 21 offensive rebounds for them, 21 for us. They beat us by one rebound. It, the, our downfall was the fact that we just could not get any consistency offensively and score consistently. How long before you really let yourself enjoy what this team has accomplished this year? Well, unfortunately for me, uh, uh, that may never happen because it's so hard to get here. Uh, and then when you don't get it done like we didn't get it done, um, I, I don't know if, if the sting of this one will ever get out. Um, for the players, uh, they, sh they should certainly be proud of themselves. Uh, um, I, I, would add, I, would, I would beg to argue with anyone in, in, on campus or in the community that were our supporters. Uh, that November the 15th would have said, I think you guys might make it to the national championship meeting. I don't think anybody ever told me that. Uh, now, now, they might not have told me that to my face, but I don't think anybody said that to anybody else. I don't think anybody even said that jokingly. That was just one of those, so, but we made it. So from that standpoint, these guys have been terrific. Um, when someone asks me or someone says to me and I hear that the youth of America um, uh, are sad or they're not as good as they used to be, I say, I don't know who you're talking about. But if you'll come work with me for two weeks, you'll be working with the best people in the world. I think the youth of America, I know the basketball team at Mary Harden Baylor, the finest young men that is, are anywhere. So uh, I have complete and total respect for each one of those guys.